Hello good people, it's nearly 3 in the morning and it is a perfect time to talk about Dubrovnik chess pieces. So this is gonna be a Dubrovnik chatting video. So we're gonna talk about two versions of Dubrovnik. It's gonna be 1950 Olympiad set and the second one is going to be the famous Jakopovic Fischer set. They are similar, but they are also very different. We're going to get deep in a moment. So, a couple of years ago, Chess Bazaar made this version of Dubrovnik. I was uh, literally upset when I saw this creature. Uh, I could not... Uh, I could not look at it, so I decided to to contact them and to help them to make it better for free. So I decided to do this, like redesigning Chess Bazaar Chessman of the Browning Bobby Fisher. So what I did, I found the photos of the original, the Browning uh, Fisher set, and I extracted the main lines of the profile so this is what i came up with so this is a, uh, in my opinion the best aesthetics from the dubrovnik knight i commented a lot of things for example this balance between the rook and the and the knight uh, it's completely overwhelming you know it's uh, like this not gonna eat this rook uh, and uh, I made it uh, like uh, well balanced here and um, a lot of other stuff they made a second version of their Dubrovnik uh, which was still very bad it's okay said to play chess with but it's uh, not a great replica by no means you know so I did a bunch of uh, criticism around here. So yeah, I, I found the best pictures online uh, that the lucky owners uh, put of the Fisher set. And as you, as you saw earlier, from this profile, I extracted this. So I'm still waiting to this day that somebody make it like this. As perfect as this is and um, a lot of companies are getting better and better so now we're gonna deep dive to see who did, who did it better who did it uh, so close all right yeah uh, this is uh, the picture of the Fisher set this upper one is the original and this is replica of the house of Staunton, which is uh, uh, if we judge by this picture it is very very good replica but we're gonna see some other photos later and this is the original 1950s yeah it is a rook with a straight balcony on the top the queen with a half sphere with a lot of cuts, uh, you know, and this uh, mysteriously beautiful knight. Everything is well balanced with uh, this set. All right, so now we're gonna mention a few companies uh, which I consider they are serious about doing accurate replica. So first we're gonna talk about Noi from Slovenia. So, and first we're gonna talk about the 1950. The, the older set so we got this and we got this when we open it this is the first one this is the second one and again this is the first one and this is the second one so the main difference is the queen you can tell this half spear is much more visible uh, on this version and uh, on this version it's a little bit uh, 
smaller and this part is very straight comparing to this curve that's something this guy noticed uh, you know he complained about this because he was expecting to get this version uh, I would also say my personal opinion of course that this 1950 night is better than this version so if I compare this picture to the original I would say it's like 100% accurate it's very good I like it uh, it's like 10 out of 10 so if you wanna buy these pieces from Noi I would uh, maybe recommend you to ask them in advance are you gonna get this or this because you can, you can see this is um, a little bit different uh, a little bit different over here uh, you have to be aware what you're getting just for your customer happiness I can put it like that okay conclusion 10 out of 10 let's say 8 out of 10 all right next company so this company is Southern Castle and this is something really really astonishing uh, I could not find any flaw on this set this is like a perfect Dubrovnik 1950 set really this night is uh, amazing the rook is completely accurate every piece is uh, completely accurate so this this set blew me away it is 10 out of 10 uh, I don't have it because I intend to buy Fisher set not this uh, 1950 but they are equally legendary and you will not uh, you will not make a mistake with this one this is this is really something special okay 10 out of 10 of course now we're gonna talk about this company Royal Chess Mall this is a pretty 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 good replica not as good as this one but pretty close so this rook uh, this uh, king is a little bit slimmer and the, the queen is a little bit slimmer than these guys and uh, this is much more a little bit more elegant and uh, a little bit more accurate to the original okay doing good with the bishop doing great with the knight and doing bad with the rook it's it's kind of disappointment to see this rook i must i must say it like that uh first of all it is not accurate because 1950 olympiad has a straight top balcony and uh, this is tapered uh, i believe it is the influence of the later version of dubrovnik which is a fisher set because the fisher set has a little bit tapered uh, top of the rook but still you could do it tapered uh, but uh, this uh, size is just a little bit too tiny and it's kind of off from the other pieces in my opinion of course so if this rook is uh, accurate and better I would still rate it like 10 out of 10 uh, because um, the knight is just fabulous and uh, I cannot uh, ignore that and I have to give a credit because because of the knight and th this these pieces are pretty pretty decent just uh, here just a little bit uh, I don't want to say worse than these but uh, they're pretty good they are very good just uh, honestly the only problem is uh, 
the rook. But still, it's still a nice set. All right. Moving on. All right, so now we are moving to, to the next version of Dubrovnik, the one I want to buy. But I still haven't bought it because I got something to say about them all. Okay, so first, House of Staunton. Here we can see two versions of Dubrovnik. This is the, the latest one and this is the early version they made. Let's talk just for a moment the, for the early version. So this is something I would not consider as a serious replica, unfortunately. It is a still a nice and beautiful set, but uh, uh, you have to be aware this is uh, not an uh, accurate replica. It is pretty much influenced by the Staunton design. So the king uh, is pretty much uh, Staunton, Staunton-ish. <laughs> and the uh, rook, uh, you know, it's just not accurate replica. The knight is, uh, I don't know, 5 out of 10. Uh, and uh, it's okay. Uh, I don't want to be harsh, but nice set, but we will not consider this as a serious replica. But this version is for sure a serious replica. This is something very special. And we just want to skip uh, to the main part. Okay. Let's say just that all the pieces are pretty accurate to the this. This is the original. So all the pieces are like 100% accurate. Okay, now we're going to talk about knight. And for that we're going to pull out this picture again. I believe this drawing has a little bit more aesthetics than this one. Of course, it's easy to, to make a drawing than, than an actual piece. Uh, but uh, this is pretty close. This is pretty, pretty good. Uh, this cut is uh, kind of aligning with this part, this and this. And if, if you could get this shadow on your Dubrovnik Fisher Knight, you will you will get it just right. And this is kind of dancing around it. And they could they did a good job. They still could do it a little bit better. But actually, this is one of the, if not the best replica I have seen of Dubrovnik. Uh, so where's the catch? The catch is this is their display set for the for the website. <laughs> so whoever did this, he invested a lot of time to make it just right. Here is the House of Staunton actual set that somebody bought guy this guy bought this and uh, now I'm gonna show you what these guys including me do they draw lines you know they draw lines we don't practice chess we draw lines across the nights and we are seeking for the perfection of the design of the balance it's like uh, OCD you know, it's a mental illness. So, I'm gonna do it immediately. Uh, so, what was the, was the problem? The problem is this central part of the piece. It's a little bit too wide. If you wanna get a nice proportion, you have to do it a little bit slimmer, this middle part. But, uh, in this case, uh, it is uh, visibly wider than it should be. And then you uh, kind of get a visual disbalance. 
you know this rook and this bishop and this knight is like overwhelming a little bit for them because the nose is just like uh, almost uh, further than the base and uh, this tail is uh, the end of the main is a little bit on the edge of the the base it should be a little bit smaller because it was the same problem like this uh, chess bazaar did a few years ago okay uh, so what is it all about See, I'm not sure if I'll report this to House of Staunton. It's a little bit uh, disappointed because of this. You know, for the normal people, they would not, they would never comment. They would say, it's, it's a good piece, it is a nice night. Uh, but uh, there is another group of people. So, to conclude, it is a very good replica. They can make it perfect they can make it let's call this like a, let's say this is a nine out of ten nine and a half out of ten they can make it like that but if they want to uh, skip uh, the details they will get uh, something like this it's a little bit uh, off still a good uh, still a good piece but a little bit off than uh, advertised Okay, now we're going to talk about another company which has a serious replica of Fisher set. Finally, after after two failed versions, they got um, the right one. Maybe they maybe they really used some of these uh, things I, I I have sent them. I would be glad if they did. So, quick commentary on. The, all the pieces uh, besides uh, the knight, I believe they are pretty accurate. There is some kind of a problem with the rook we're gonna get in a moment, and uh, I believe this top part of the king should, this part should be completely straight, and this one has a little bit, a little curve. It's uh, a little bit inaccurate, but uh, I don't wanna be that harsh. Okay, what's good about this knight? It is for sure the proportion. You can tell easily how this knight is so well balanced next to this rook and this bishop. They really belong to the same set. And from the various uh, photos and videos I have found on the internet, which people put, I could tell that uh, the the product the people get is uh, like completely the same as as this one so they are very consistent i believe they are very consistent about the shape the advertise and the shape they deliver uh, this is kind of a little bit uh, of a problem these eyes of the night uh, are lacking some aesthetics so it's kind of disappointment a little bit for me and uh, you know this part of the head is uh, too big comparing to the cheek it should be the other way around when it is the other way around you get the aesthetics and when you are not uh, careful with your knife you get uh, something like this you know it, it is a fully functioning knight and it's uh, 99% of the people would not complain, but I know, 1%. Overall, the profile surface is just right. The details are lacking. It is like um, 8 out of 10. It's okay. It's, it's, I'm very pleased with this one, but I'm not uh, amazed by this. Still. Still waiting. Yeah, so... This cut is like a little bit exaggerated, so it's just about the details, you know. You see, this is a fine line, fine line. You don't have to, you don't have to butcher it like this, people 
from Chess Bazaar. Please be kind to this knight. Okay. Now we're gonna talk about the, the something I consider as the second flaw of this set. It is a rook. So it's kind of off the tribute. As you can see, the this balcony of the rook is getting sharper to the to the top. It's like tapered. So that's I believe a little bit inaccurate and uh, unnecessary. So just make it straight, you know, a little bit uh, uh, tapered overall, like uh, the whole thing a little bit tapered, but do not taper the actual, you know, these five pieces. Okay. Other than that, it's a pretty, pretty decent uh, set. You will not make a mistake if you buy this. You know, it, it's th this is something you you could really consider to buy. And now the third company we're gonna talk about. It is Noi from Slovenia. Okay. They call it Minceta. Minceta is a tower in the city of Dubrovnik in Croatia, and uh, that's the reason. That's the reason why they make the rook a little bit thicker. It's like a thick Minchetta rook. If you are wondering, how was the rook in the actual Bobby Fisher set? We're gonna get it in a moment. First we're gonna talk about the knight. So, let's bring the, the strict picture, you know. Okay. As you can see, distance from this line and to this line, it is the closest to the top. When you go down, the distance get bigger and bigger. It is not the case uh, with the Noi piece. Seems like this part is uh, less wide than this part. Uh, I'm I'm sure they are aware of that, but they they are kind of maybe they are not that committed to deliver as as accurate. They, maybe they like this design. Maybe they did it intentionally, a little bit different. Uh, it's still a beautiful knight, but uh, in my eyes, this is more harmonic body, and I think it would be better. If they could a little bit adjust it to make it a little bit uh, more accurate, but it's it's really about them. For example, this cut, the cut is uh, a line with this uh, part of the head in the original piece. You see, cut continuing to this line. It's like uh, it's like art. And they made it uh, slightly different, you know. The cut is uh, below the whole head. And uh, I'm missing this part, this part of the head. Uh, it's kind of missing. You got the middle part and then you got the main. Uh, I would be more happy if I would see that part of the head. It would be more aesthetic in my opinion. But still, what I can conclude from the pictures I see from the people who, who put no pictures of this set uh, online, they're very, they're very consistent in this design. Do you see this picture? You will get the exact one at your house if you order it. Although it is not, it is not like a complete accurate to the original. You will get it completely accurate like this, and that's also nice thing to know because it's uh, still nice looking night. Okay, let's talk about the fat rook. This is a video from this guy. It has great material about Dubrovnik, so check it out for sure. Uh, so this is my theory. 
this is the original Fisher set or like a, a limited series of the Fisher set uh, because if we see Bobby Fisher talking about uh, his uh, set and uh, analyzing pieces you could easily tell that this rook is like we can call it like a normal rook like this it's like a normal rook so what about what about this rook my theory is that uh, this is for sure original original uh, set from from that time from the master Jakopovic but I believe he did it intentionally like a limited series of uh, of Dubrovnik to get a tribute to this actual building to the uh, in the city of Dubrovnik so although uh, the fisher did not have fetrook it is still historically relevant because the same guy who made a slim rook also made a thick rook so i believe you cannot you cannot go wrong with a thick rook in your fisher dubrovnik i believe actually it, it looks uh, pretty amazing <laughs> you see so charismatic fat rook you can only get this uh, uh, with noi you can also get uh, some versions of their set uh, with a uh, regular slim rook but uh, if i buy from this company i will buy this particular set with the fat rook because it is <laughs> it's very charismatic I, I find it very 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 nice and of course historically relevant it existed here's another photo of bobby fisher set this is actually bobby's hand and you can see this rook you can see this rook it's it's like a regular slim rook this one but nevertheless if you go with the fat rook it is as cool as this one okay uh, this is the last thing we're gonna talk about uh, so this guy is great he he got five Dubrovnik sets and he he put all the pictures from yeah this is the Stout of Castle 1950. This is the House of Staunton. Uh, House of Staunton, uh, older version, which is, I told, it's like not relevant uh, as, a, as a replica, but still nice set. This is Chess Bazaar, second version. Uh, this version. Uh, is not longer available because they are aware it is not accurate and now they only have one version which is much better than this one and this is a noi uh, with the fat rook minchetta it's uh, it's a great set for example look at this look at this king this is the actual king how it look how it's supposed to look like and this is nice but too much Staunton inspired it's not it's beautiful but it's not accurate this is accurate and this from uh, house of uh, this is from uh, chess bazaar it is uh, accurate the rook might be better really nice dubrovnik party over here i uh, see noi is bizarre let's let's find the knights i want to yeah i see, I see the comparison for example this is chess bazaar and this is fat 
מינצ'טה. אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה